what's going on guys this is sarge and uh, i actually love canadian bacon i have nothing against it so please don't hold that last clip against the player there against me aside from that that has nothing to do with this video this is called the art of flanking it's where i cover basic flanking routes and more advanced ones in battlefield bad company 2 i will also be doing it for battlefield 3 the definition you see there is to move past or go around i will be doing valparaiso laguna pressa Cold War and Erica Harbor in this series. Um, stay tuned for upcoming Battlefield 3 videos as I will be doing this and carrying it on through the series of Battlefield uh, from here on out. So this first clip you're gonna see here is Erica Harbor. And as we start off here, I have a little difficulty meter to show you exactly how hard these flanking routes are. Again, we wanna go around to the enemy. I'm using the back side, which is the far left flank of Erica Harbor and taking a Humvee. We want to use the Humvee because it has more of a, uh, there's a lot more force with the vehicle. It allows you to climb up and scale mountains easier. So as you see me work that spawn there, I have a little map layout to show you exactly what I crossed. That's a difficult route. You're going to have to take practice in doing that. So go ahead and use that for your advantage. This is the second push, the second set of MCOMs. I'm going to be working again towards the right flank this time. I'm going to climb this mountain scale here. It's going to go over the border. And as you can see, it's telling me to head back, but as soon as you cross over, you're gonna be in safe grounds again. This is into the enemy on cap. You can ride the vehicle right on to B. Uh, thanks to Mass Death, courtesy to him for showing me this route. Really good use in getting around behind the enemy. All right, we're working up the third set of MCOMs. This is an easy route, and you can just basically take the ocean side using the ATV that spawns um, with the next set that opens up. So again, the third set, you can take it around, go straight to B, which uh, is exposed to the enemy uncapped, but also allows you, if you can get there early, to take the objectives before the enemy even realizes it. So timing is key in a lot of these flanking routes, so use that uh, at your own risk. All right, this is the fourth set. You see me swimming across the water here. I'm gonna use the water route. That's going to take me up the ladder and behind the enemy. So I'm, I can actually get behind them, work the spawn if I need to. If you have a squad, they can spawn on you and start taking those MCOMs. When you break past that set, you can go to the next set and use the same route, which is the, uh, the ocean side. You wanna use the ocean side, climb up the ladder, and as you can see here, we're on the last set of MCOMs. Now, if you get on the right side and you go down the train yard, you can um, actually get behind the fence gate here. Now, it's very dangerous because you're gonna be exposed, so if you can manage to do that without being caught, you can get uh, a nice flank from the right as well. So that's Erica Harbor. That was uh, pretty quick, but you can always go back and review that. I have the map layouts if you need that. Erica is done. Let's move on to Valparaiso. This is uh, probably one of my favorite maps in Rush. So you can take the ATV, which I usually would do, and work your way up the right side, which is the B flank. This is gonna be again on the ocean side. And you can take that little ledge there and jump off there and it'll allow you to go to straight away all the way over around into B cap. Um, obviously you're gonna have enemy spawning in that area so you're gonna wanna watch out. The next set of MCOMs, I'm going again B side, working my way towards the water tower. You can use the ATV that spawns there. That'll help you get there quicker. And that'll push you into their, uh, their cap. So you can take their cap and do that. This is the third set. And this is a really interesting uh, route here. It's uh, an actually an exploit, but you can use it um, to your advantage. And what this allows you to do is to sneak into A without the enemy knowing. Now, a lot of veterans player will be looking out for that area, but for those of you who are new, this will help you out and uh, hopefully give you a nice advantage into getting A without having to be too exposed. As you can see me working through the brush there, you wanna get there before the counter dies out. Otherwise, the game will actually commit suicide on you. So, here you see me working on the water side. You can arm the objective at B. This is the third set, again, underwater. For those of you who don't know that yet. Um, and that'll allow you to cover the flank from below and above. Now, what you see me here is using the chopper. Now, a lot of people don't know this. I don't know why I haven't, I haven't seen a lot of people use this. Is going back to the chopper and using that as a very easy flank route to get into the next set. And this is the hardest push here is when you're climbing that, scaling that mountain. Um, that's one of the very most difficult pushes. And so using that chopper to get back there is gonna be the best thing for you. This is another route I'm taking, which is a more difficult one because you're gonna have to weave your way in and out 
of the counter so that you're not going to kill yourself. And um, there's a nice route you can take, which is far left, according to um, some of the uh, prerequisites. You're going to have to have some things in set, which is hopping onto that blue can, which will allow you to jump on the hut and then onto the mountain so you can scale up towards the left side. And now you have a really good view of both the enemy uncapped and A. And now, if you wanted to work the B side, you can take the ATV, which is kind of a common route. Um, I don't see a lot of people use this, but for those of you who do, it's it's easy, but then it's also difficult in the sense that you're going to be running into a lot of enemies while doing that. So here we are on the last set, and I'm pushing up with the ATV that spawns, and I'm going to work away towards the left side. Now you see me trying to beat that counter. If you can pull this off, this is very effective. Beating the counter so that it opens up right before you get into the MCOM. This will allow you to get there quickly and more efficiently before the enemies have anything to do or spawn and, and locate you. So Valparaiso is done. We're going to move on to Cold War. Here it's going to be a couple easy routes. When you spawn in, I like to usually take the right side flank. And you can see me cross that border line where, um, again, I'm working into the no zone, the no area zone or combat zone. And you can weave your way in and out, but you want to kind of stay away um, from brushing to left or far left so that the enemy can't spot you and keep yourself right enough so that you are uh, using the cover in the mountains to drop down and now you're in their, uh, their cap place and that's where they spawn and you can go straight to B from there and take the MCOM from that position allowing you to be a more efficient player. So here as we see going up to the next set, this is the second set of MCOMs for Cold War Rush. I'm going to be working up the satellite side, which is far right. That will allow me to climb up the mountain, scale down, fall, and now I am at B. And most people will be pushing up by then. You can actually flank there easily and take the MCOM by surprise. And here using the same set of MCOMs, I can work towards the left side of A using the ocean side or the lake side and, and a lot of people use this route this is a very common one but for those of you who are new you can use this to get to a quickly without having to be seen again going in and taking the mcom so uh this is the final push and a is pretty one, one of the harder mcoms to take is to take a and so you can use that far right flank to get there obviously i crossed over to b and that'll help you out as well to end the cold war Last but not least, we have Laguna Pressa, and this is my favorite route to take, is to get to A quickly using the boats and the flanking from behind. Uh, I use this route pretty commonly, and it's, it's a very easy route. A lot of people do use it, but if you can do it quickly, you can get there efficiently and, um, again, by surprise, take the enemy. So here we have a nice route. If you guys like to camp, you guys know that I'm not that type of player, but if you guys have a spotter, someone who likes to spot people from a distance, you can use this mountain up here if you're on the defensive side. And um, that'll help you call out a lot of spots where the enemies are. And I have a little map layout to show you exactly where that's at. This is the second set of Laguna Pressa. I'm using the ATV that spawns and I'm pushing up the far right. Um, you can see the difficulty meter there. It's pretty easy, you can get over to the water brush your way past the combat area zone and now you are behind A and that will get you in there quickly. You see the map layout and that's the route that I just took and that's pretty much it. So this is the third set now and I'm taking the Humvee that spawns. This is uh, pretty difficult, it's not extremely. If you can get the vehicle to work your way around there quickly before enemies um, actually start working their way down to that uh, clutch river you can go around the left flank and this will put you behind the enemy spawn as you see me just do right there this is a really good route to take um, that i like to use to get into the uh, enemy spawn and start working it and let my guys take the objectives um, or myself and so you saw the map layout there another good trick there if you want to not use that um, ramp you can actually work again the left side on foot Hop over this rock here and that'll get you straight to B. This is the third set of MCOMs on Laguna Pressa. And that's a really good push. So now we're working on the fourth set and I'm taking an ATV down the left side river flank and I'm going to B. And this will be exposed for the enemy spawns. So you're gonna be running into a lot of enemies here. But if you can get there quickly, you can take care of them and get the B MCOM quickly. So um, that's the only route that I have for you guys there. This is the final route here, and um, this is a pretty difficult one to climb up the mountain, which is left side. Um, 
and you're going to be working into the enemy MCO uh, not the MCOMs, but their spawns. You're going to be working into their spawns, and uh, if you can get to that place, maybe a little later, because earlier they're going to be spawning in there. If you can do it later, you can get to the MCOMs uh, quickly. Here's a nice trick too: is if you want to get A, you can uh, go right under it and keep jumping, and then arm the MCOM, and eventually it's going to arm, and that'll help you out for very clutch gameplay if whenever you're running into a losing battle that will help you out so thanks for watching you guys can click on any of these links there there's four of them that'll send you back to review exactly what happened in uh the series that i just covered uh, if you guys want to see some more don't forget to subscribe take care what do they call canadian bacon in canada Ooh, national bacon maybe national bacon turkey bacon turkey bacon? It's back bacon. Back bacon. Back bacon.